Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2, I'm Spike Viper and welcome back fellow Vuperians. Today we're going to be going down the rabbit hole of what we began in our last video, which was modifying the simulation parameters. Because, I mean, we've done everything in normal physics, now it's time to just make things a little wonky. And by wonky, I mean ridiculous. So, I wanted to see how far I can push this in the simulation parameters. First off, can you make the entirety No. Oh my god, you can make the gravitational constant negative. Are you kidding me? Wait a second. Really? You don't understand how ridiculous that is. Let me just say, that is absolutely ridiculous. We've been able to turn the mass of singular bodies negative, but turning the gravitational constant to negative just is a whole different kind of of absolutely insane. Because we can just... <laughs> I wonder if we can just compress things into, like, insanely crazy... Like, if we put Earth here and Earth here, they will push each... What just happened? Where did they go? What? Why? Where? Why did they just instantly disappear? What's happening to them? Oh my god. Wait, we still got it here. Uh, motion. Not, not a number. Okay, so it's gotta be going into like... Oh my god! If it turned into a complex number, do you know what this means? We sent the planets into a different dimension! We did it! We invented a new dimension! Oh, beautiful! Alright, good way to start, I guess. Let's see what else we can mess with. Um, let's just go to the normal solar system. That is very odd. D would that just instantly happen here? Like, what happens if we get a system that's already in motion and just... So it's only when you place down new ones. That is so odd. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Seeing you get pushed away from the sun. But we've already done that. Not on this scale, though. Not on an entire solar system. Ugh. Oh, this is so interesting. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Alright, um... Okay, got it. Let's look at other things we can mess with in a similar manner. So we got the fragmentation, we got heating. Heat diffusion rate, can this be neg- Oh, we can't. Oh, that's sad. That one actually made me a little bit sad. How high can you put it though? <laughs> nice, beautiful. What about our advanced settings? Alright, let's just set this at 100% again. Oh man, there is so much stuff. So much stuff. Accuracy profile. Part of me just wants to set it to accurate. I mean... There's also performance, which is much less taxing on your computer. We can slowly turn up the gravitational constant. Even just a 20% increase has completely, completely changed the world. Well, universe. Look at Earth getting very close to Venus now. Our orbit is now kind of wacky. And that temperature just continues to increase. Yeah, yeah, we have contributed to the worst global warming in history. And I can say in history because the history just ended because your skin just boiled off, so. Yay. Congratulations. But we could just rescue humanity by turning gravity down to a cool... 0 0.6 oh wow no that was way too low okay ice age time ice age time oh beautiful 
Yeah, turning gravity down had a much bigger effect than, uh, turning it up. And that was a, a much more dramatic, much more dramatic effect. Alright, so if we turn it up again to normal, now we just get super close to Earth. Will it balance? I mean, it looks like it'll melt the ice on the surface. Come on, just a few more ways around. Maybe not. I think it may actually be kind of- Oh no! No, the oceans! The oceans have unfrozen! <laughs> yes! Yes, Earth! Good! Look at that. Oh! Oh, we're making it somewhere. Nice. You can see the temperature just slowly, slowly marching. Marching to greatness. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, I just completely broke that. I should feel a little bit bad, but I don't. How do I... This panel looks very odd now. I'm so used to just destroying everything. There we go. Now we got all of these. Beautiful, beautiful. And we can see the ice thickness. And the ice is actually receding in most of Earth. We gotta go a little bit further though if we want to save the day. I think we can get Earth kind of livable if we bring gravity just a little bit higher. Just a little bit. There we go. The ice, it's almost gone. We've almost done it. The temperature is rising. We can actually close that panel. Now. Uh? Uh? The vapor mass is so interesting. Oh, come on. It's, it's, the average temperature is now not that bad. Why? Why so mean? Alright, that'll do it. There's, there's no way. Wow, I think, I think the years are very short now, actually. First off, we are actually starting to get Earth to a livable temperature. We have melted most of the ice from the surface. Hopefully not too much. It is actually getting a little bit warmer than I would have liked. So we're going to turn down the gravitational constant a little bit. Ah yes, kids, this is why you don't bend the laws of physics. Okay, that's actually pretty stable. During the cold parts, we get some ice sheets on the poles and then they melt, and then they come back, and then they melt. Okay, that seems good. It's slowly getting colder, but it's actually starting to level out a little bit. So... I think we may have actually made a stable system now. Seasons are a little bit more crazy than they used to be, but you know what? We have made life work, even with a different gravitational constant. Although, everyone on Earth just got 30% heavier. Um, so, maybe some people wouldn't notice, but it, it probably would feel like you're wearing just a backpack at all times, distributed across your entire body. It would probably be pretty uncomfortable. I'm not- I'm not going to lie. Um... Yeah... Yeah... That would be- that would be unfortunate. Be quite the workout. People wear those weight things when they're working out. How hot does it get when we pass close by the sun? So right here is when we get very, very close. And it gets to... 34 degrees Celsius, which in Fahrenheit is 96. Yikes, that is hot for surface. Uh, but I, I guess, I guess the 100 and whatever degrees drops back down over time. It, it is certainly normal, uh, warmer. It is certainly warmer. On Earth, uh, the average temperature isn't that bad, but that average temperature, which is what humanity got used to pretty much, is all located 
on the very uh, high and low points. So, like, we're talking Europe and, like, North America are probably fine, but anywhere near the equator is just... Well, I guess that's kind of how it's always been, but it's a little bit more extreme this time around. And it looks like all the vapor mass has moved, interestingly enough, to the south. South Pole. I don't know what's going on there. Probably from it melting? Um, I, I don't know. Well, damn. We not only broke the laws... Look at Jupiter's orbit. Oh my god. So we got Earth stable, but the rest of the solar system is just... Oh, man. Jupiter gets real toasty for a bit. Well, considering it's Jupiter. And then it goes out so far. How long is a... Uh... So the daytime didn't change. We already knew that. The orbital period is 326 days now. Yeah, so we, we lost we lost quite a few days, but you know what? We can just take those out of the school year, right guys? Good, we all agreed on it. Less school. Let's go. Very nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. Uh, if you enjoyed, you know what to do. Slap, absolutely nuke, throw a meteor at that like button and smack that subscribe button so hard that the gravitational constant of the universe changes. But other than that, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Oh, just like Kitty Wumpet. Good job. See, someone listened already.